Seller M Nation, what's up? It's Miles, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about growing your Amazon arbitrage business using replenishable items, how to source those items using Seller Amp reverse source and ultimately make more profit, work less, have that compounding effect kick in where a few months from now, there's products you can go back and repurchase, which really helped me grow my business over 2.1 million in sales the last two months. So let's jump into my screen and talk about sourcing some replenishable items. Here inside my screen, and we're gonna take a look at a couple different Keepa charts and identify and just talk through the different types of items that are replenishable, aren't replenishable. And I just wanna make it clear that it's completely dependent on how you're sourcing an item, how replenishable it'll be. If it's something that's seasonal, that you're, you're doing like an Amazon, Amazon flip, it's probably not gonna be replenishable. If it's something you're buying off a big website like Walmart and you're not using a coupon or anything and it's just sitting there, type of thing that might show up in some automation tool searches, probably not going to be replenishable. If you're buying something with a coupon from a smaller website, probably is, or at least drastically raises the chances of it being replenishable. So this first item right here, this uh, Cocoa Melon Interactive Learning, whatever, right here, we can see the rank is 2K, so it's selling incredibly quick. If we come to the Keepa down here, we can see a uh, relative price stability Amazon's on this. However, scrolling out to the all chart, we can see that this was really, really good at one point last October, and then naturally um, just supply picked up and the, the holidays waned off and everything like that, and the price went way down. So at the peak, this was selling for like 65, and literally a few months ago, you could buy it for 20 off Amazon right here. 65, 65 that had been 130% ROI, but then now if you bought it off Amazon at that, like that 26 or whatever right there, you would have gone from making 82% ROI and now you'd be losing money on this. So it shows the way different seasonal products tend to not be replenishable due to the nature of toys mainly being really hot around the holidays and Amazon, for the most part, only going out of out of toys in December. So there's a great chance to make money on them. It's just not necessarily gonna be something you're gonna be able to go back to frequently in a way you can looking at other types of uh, OA products right here. This next item we'll take a look at is these Nike Flex Control TR4 cross chainers right here. They have 84, uh, 80, 1800 ratings right here. We can see on the seller amp, the BSR 6K, tons of estimated sales right here. Uh, the rank's really, really good. Buy box 80, lowest uh, price 63 right here. Checking out the Keepa, we can see the price is down a lot as of late right here. If we go to the three month chart, we can see at uh, early May, the buy box was 95 right here. And right now, the buy box uh, literally just a few days ago was in like the $70 range and the lowest FBA is as low as 63 right here. And we can see the offer count didn't really change that much. These I know were on sale on Nike.com, hence why people were getting them, I think in like the $40 range. So at a 40 buy cost right here, selling at uh, right here, yeah, 85.90 where they were, that would be a fantastic profit right here. 74% ROI and a 6K rank, that would be great. Probably, uh, but because it was bought on sale, not necessarily gonna be something you can replan and not even gonna be profitable now. And shows the way if you're buying stuff on these sales, Memorial Day, 4th of July, back to school sales probably happening as well. There's a couple going on right now. Naturally, you're gonna have a lot more competition because people are flooding to those sites to do it when what I like to do is buy stuff with coupons, coupons that are a little bit harder, more evergreen when stuff that's on sale. Typically websites are really trying to push traffic to that sale while it's going on. However, coupons are a little bit more evergreen. You can be looking for coupons on sites like Rakuten, uh, Honey, different ways like that. I actually tweeted from the seller amp account the other day, talking about ways to add margin, top cash back, all this kind of stuff, buying discounted gift cards. And you can always just Google coupon sites too. Like I know one site I like to buy from the coupon site is literally the URL backslash coupon. So you can try that on different sites to find stuff right here. This also has variations if we hop in here and we can go and filter ratings top to bottom, check out some of the other sizes right here and see if they're similar in terms of price stability. And we can see, yes, this was 90 from May 1st to... June 9th, and then now it is 65. And we can see the off count skyrocketed all the way from right around 30 sellers to over 100 there for a few days. And now it's in like the 60 range. And it's only moving at 65. So if your buy cost was 40, 
you would not be making a ton of profit. I think it was 44 after the sale right there. You had 25% ROI. Not amazing, especially on something with a lot of competition that's going to be difficult to get buy box share. Also want to mention, looking at the uh, Keepa in data right here and then offers, it's pretty interesting. You can take a look and scroll over here and see when sellers were first seen on a listing, which is a decent indication of whether or not it's replenishable right here. And it's pretty interesting. There's actually a decent amount of people who have been on this for a while, or at least they were first seen on it a while ago, and now they're still on it. We can see their review counts. Some of these guys are definitely making good money right here, but just off the nature of a lot of people buying these on sale, naturally the price has gone down a lot. And we'll check one more variation here. Let's see, let's see like an eight and a half right here as well. Yeah, 60 bucks. Same exact deal right here. Price was a lot higher in the past, a little lower now. We see that off count's actually going down nicely. So there's a good chance these might recover um, soon right here, but taking a look, right? Um, next, this is an example of a product that actually does look fairly replenishable. There's lots of price stability on this. So checking out the seller amp here on the right. Also want to mention to any of our users who might not be aware, if you want to move your uh, seller amp around, you just click this button at the bottom. I like having it big on the uh, right. We can even zoom it out right here if you ever wanted to. On that BSR 27K, estimated sales about 400. Love what I'm seeing here. Scrolling down, nice BSR top percent right there. We can see the Keepa, good amount of price stability. We'll take a look at the big Keepa down here and see over the three month chart. It's incredibly stable from May 24th till now when I'm filming this, July 29th. Really nice stability right there. And then if we look at the year chart, pretty much the whole time outside of it actually going up, there's a lot of price stability and pretty much a price floor right around like 22. 22.50 right here, but it's gotten as high as like 25 there in uh, February for a little bit, as well as as high as in the $30 range in uh, in April right here. So if we take a look in terms of uh, finding it on Google Shopping, see if this is the right thing. Watermelon right here. Uh, okay, now we want coconut right here. So obviously we're not sure if we're going to be able to find it properly. We can clearly see that other people are based off the price stability we're seeing in that People are clearly happy. We know they're making money because that's the only reason why the price won't get down. If they were selling stuff as quick as they want to for the price they want to, that's the only reason why the price wouldn't be going down right here. So we can see that. Taking a look at the data offer count, if we scroll over here, product details, you can see some important data right here, which we can also see a good amount of on uh, the seller amp right here and hop over to offers and come here and we filter top to bottom on first scene. We can see there's a bunch of people who have been on this for a while, right? Out of the total sellers there's only about 10 right now literally like over five of them had been on several months um and so we can see there's a lot of nice stability here and clearly this is difficult to find properly because i can't even find like the right listing here let alone it being uh profitable right here share sugar scrub yeah so here it is in 35 obviously doesn't make sense on this 15 if this could be coupon that would make sense there's like a 30 percent coupon and you end up paying like 950 nine bucks for that that's good roi right there so now in the data offers, you can come up, we can pull, we can see some of the different sellers right here, their review counts. We know they're making money. This guy's a ton in stock right here. And then the drill is using seller amp reverse source and we can open up a bunch of these stores. You can literally use this as an example to go ahead and source off of on your own. Cause we know this is a listing people are replanning that successful sellers are making money on. Okay. And then obviously. We're not able to find it properly, at least in the short video, but you can then open up all the storefronts that are selling this and go out and look for those properly as well. Using the brand filters, using the category filters, some of the different features we offer, taking a look for different products right here, taking a look at these. So you can see you can filter the Nike products, the Adidas products, Thunder Armour products, all this kind of stuff, right? So if you're struggling to find your first item, really take this exact listing we're looking at, go ahead and take a look at it, You know, just find this on Amazon search, and then reverse source off it. Make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and get a free trial of SellerAmp. It's linked below. You can try it out completely for free. See what you think of the tool reverse sourcing. It's what I use to spend well over a hundred grand a month on profitable items to flip on Amazon online arbitrage. If you guys have any questions, make sure to let us know below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to grab a free trial and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.